Hi there, this is Rhys. I'm going to look at the new features available in version 2 of iBooks Author that Apple has just released today. So here I have with the new templates, first of all, that were introduced with the second version. Now, we already know that Apple uh, supplies quite a few templates with the first version of iBooks Author, but what's new in the second version are more of the landscape um, formats that you see here. There's a photo book, an antique, and a cookbook. But more interesting is the portrait-only versions. Uh, and here we've got six new different types. And I think these are very much different from the old portrait formats. These are fully fledged um, landscape style, uh, if that makes sense, portrait views. Um, that'll become a little bit more uh, clear when I, when I go into them. So let me just open up one of the existing landscape ones and let's have a look at some of the new features available in version 2. So here we are. The actual layout is very similar. Um, the main difference, as well as the uh, capability of uh, LaTeX and, and MathML that uh, was introduced today uh, are some of the new widgets uh, which make the uh, text and images uh, come alive. You've got the original six that were available on version one, the gallery, media, review, keynote, interactive image, and the 3D. But the two new ones which are very interesting are the sc uh, scrolling sidebar as well as the pop-up. Now, If I have a look at the scrolling sidebar, what this allows you to do is take one part of a page and you can add as much information as you like. Uh, this can be textual or it can be uh, images. Let me drag in uh, an image in over here. And what it does is actually expands to um, go over the space of the page. So you can actually have uh, a, an internal scrolling view that you couldn't otherwise have in, in iBooks Author. Very good for uh, side notes which expand on the main text. Um, that will have uh, either more contact or, or more, more images that you don't necessarily want to actually have in the main flow of the text. So that's the uh, one of the new widgets. The other one is the popover widget. And what this allows you to do is, again, it's complementary to the uh, images you can embed in the text. Uh, but what this is good at is actually giving uh, a pop-up view that expands on what the actual image does. Now previously you could do this by having a, a, a bit of text underneath the image, uh, but quite often that broke the flow of the text. This way you can actually have something that only appears when you actually click on the image. So it's, it's quite a useful addition. So those are the two new widgets. Um, if I go back and create a new book in the new portrait layout, what you'll see there is that the portrait, uh, let's take the photo book as an example here, this view is now a fully fledged um, view in that it actually works with uh, all of the widgets and the images and the videos that you previously had. Um, in version one, these were actually shoved to one side. Um, you had a, a left kind of margin where everything was pushed out to and only left you with the, the, the text. This is more uh, in line with the landscape um, view of, of, of iBooks Author. Uh, maybe if I show you by having a, a pop-up widget again, and if I drag the image in, what you'll see now is that this is actually part and parcel now of the actual text. Um, so I can actually have a much more finer control of, of how things work. Now, good thing is about this format is the previous um, widgets that were available over and above what came with Apple also work in iBooks Author version two. Um, as an example here, if I go to uh, Bookery, our site, and download the Sketchpad widget, um, this actually works in iBooks Author in the same way. So if I come over and drag the gallery uh, Sketchpad widget, um, this again allows you to sort of show the, the powerful features of iBooks Author uh, by embedding more app-like capabilities within the page. So this is a very simple drawing application and it allows you to actually put in an image um, that authors can actually uh, give to their readers. And here we are, something that allows me to uh, take a picture and put some images in there. And the whole web connectivity features of iBooks Author is the same in version 2 as it was in version 1. Uh, the example here with the Sketchpad demo is I can actually create this image and I can actually import it and email it out into uh, my email client straight from my book. So there we go. The features of iBooks Author uh, uh, look, look very good. 
Um, we'll be looking more at what it's capable of over the next few days and show you what uh, it's all about.